Hey there, Mr. Weaver here, and this is 8th grade, module 8, lesson 4, dilations. After this lesson, you need to be able to describe dilations using coordinate notation, as well as graph dilations on the coordinate plane using coordinate notation. Let's learn dilations and scale factor. A dilation is another type of transformation which is similar to a scale drawing. It uses a scale factor to enlarge or reduce a figure proportionally. Scale factor is the ratio of the side lengths of the image to the side lengths of the pre-image. In a dilation, the pre-image and image are the same shape, but they're not necessarily the same size. So what we would say, these are not necessarily congruent, but we would say they are similar. If the scale factor is greater than one, then the image would be enlarged. If the scale factor was between zero and one, then the image would be reduced. If the scale factor was exactly one, the image and the pre-image would be the same size. You should not see a negative scale factor since essentially we are dealing with length or distance and that is not something that can be negative. The scale factor in our dilation shown here is used by finding a ratio of one triangle to the other. So let's look at a side length for example. If we look at our corresponding sides, we can see CB in our pre-image was two centimeters. C prime B prime, which is our corresponding in the image, is now four centimeters. How did I go from two to four? Well, let's divide. So the ratio was four to two or two. So this means that the scale factor was two. I multiplied by two to go from the pre-image to the image. And since this scale factor was larger than one, my image is larger than my pre-image, which is what is shown here. We can also double check to make sure we did find the correct scale factor. It should be the same throughout. So one to two, we also multiplied by two, which is good. We are dilating it proportionally. Here, if we follow the same process, we have RS, which is our side length here. It was eight. If we look for that corresponding side in the image, we have r prime s prime, which is now six. How can I go from eight to six? Well, let's divide. So I'm gonna divide my image by my pre-image. Six divided by eight reduces to three fourths, or I could even say my scale factor was 0 0.75. Here, my scale factor is between zero and one, which means that my image is a reduction. It was a dilation that made smaller, which you can see the image is a smaller triangle than the pre-image. Let's learn. Dilations on a coordinate plane. A dilation is a transformation that enlarges or reduces a figure by a scale factor relative to a center point. So when we're doing this on a graph, we're gonna see that our dilations either increase or decrease away from or towards a center point. That point is gonna be called the center of dilation. When we're dealing with a center of dilation that is at the origin, we can use our coordinate notation. And to do that, each of our coordinates is just multiplied by a scale factor k. So in these, k is going to be the scale factor. If we look at our picture here, here's our center of dilation. When we're doing a dilation, everything is not only gonna change in size based on the scale factor, but it's also going to change in the distance from the origin by that same scale factor. So here we can see we had a scale factor of two. If we look, AC in our pre-image was two units, while A prime C prime is four units. So that increased by a scale factor of two. A was one diagonal away. Now it's two diagonals away for A prime. If we look at the coordinates here, C was at three, one. Now it's at six, two for C prime. So the coordinate doubled. Everything about it changes by the same scale factor when it is dilated at the origin. Some other key words to know that going with this have to deal with the size of the scale factor. If you have an enlargement, then the scale factor would be greater than one. So here we see a scale factor of two. Our image is larger than our pre-image and it should be farther away from our center of dilation. If it's a reduction, our scale factor has to be between zero and one. So half is between zero and one. And our image gets closer to the center compared to the pre-image. 
So reductions will get smaller and closer. If there is no change, that means that our scale factor is exactly one. So you're going to see either a one in front for a scale factor, or you might not see it at all. So if you just see XY changes to XY, that means there was a dilation of one, there's no change. Here, our image is exactly in the same place as our pre-image. There was no change in the size or the distance away from our center of dilation. Example one, graph dilations. Triangle ABC has vertices negative two, one, negative four, five, and three, two. Graph the image of the figure after a dilation with a scale factor of two. So right away, I see scale factor of two. In my head, I know it's a larger than one, so my dilation is going to be an enlargement. Everything should be getting larger. So first, let's find our coordinates of our image. With a dilation, we can just take our coordinate and multiply by the scale factor. So let's multiply everything by two. Negative two times two becomes negative four. One times two becomes two. Negative four, five, multiplying both of them by two becomes negative eight, 10. And three, two multiplied by two would be six, four. Next, we can use our coordinates that we just figured out to graph the image on our coordinate plane. So if we just essentially doubled all of our coordinates, now I can plot them. Negative four, two would be there. Negative eight, 10 would be up here. And six, four would be over here. If I connect them, now I have my enlargement. And just to show that everything is in fact changing. So notice this one went one unit over two up. Now we have to go twice as far. So it went that same distance or same pattern twice. To get to C, we had to go three over, two up. Now we're doing that twice. Three over, two up, three over, two up. Everything is twice what it was because our scale factor was two. Check your understanding, read through the situation and graph the dilation. Pause the video now and complete the check. Let's check. So first, here is our pre-image, our original coordinates. Let's figure out where the coordinates should be for our image. So we have a factor of three, which means I should just multiply all of these by three. So this would be negative six, this would be negative three, this would still be zero, this would be three, this would be three, this would be negative nine. The signs should not change for a dilation since we will not be multiplying by a negative number. So if I plot those points, negative six, negative three is over here, zero, three is up here, and three, negative nine is down here. So my dilation with a scale factor of three should look like this. Everything is three times as large as it was, and it's three times as far away from that center of dilation. Example two, graph dilations. Triangle JKL has vertices 3, 8, 10, 6, and 8, 2. Graph the image of the figure after a dilation with a scale factor of 1 half. So this time I see my scale factor is 1 half. It's between 0 and 1. I know that my image is going to be smaller than what my pre-image was. So let's find our coordinates. We're going to take all of these and just multiply by 1 half or divide by 2. So half of 3 is 3 over 2 or 1.5. Half of 8 is 4. Half of 10 is 5 and half of 6 is 3. Half of 8 is 4. Half of 2 is 1. So all of my new image coordinates are just half of what it was originally. Now let's plot those points. So J prime is going to be at 1.5 or 3 halves and 4, which is right there. K prime is at 5, 3 and L prime is at 4, 1. So my dilation, this time it was a reduction should look like this. And a good way to check that everything looks okay, we didn't rotate anything, we didn't reflect anything, they should have the same position relative to each other. Check your understanding, read through the situation and graph this dilation. Pause the video now and complete the check. Let's check. So first, our triangle and our pre-image would be here. We have negative six, nine, so E would be up here. F is at three, six, so F would be over here. And then G is down here at negative 33. Next, let's multiply each of these by one third. 
or divide by 3. So this would become negative 2, 3, 3 divided by 3 is 1, 6 divided by 3 is 2, negative 3 divided by 3 is negative 1, 3 divided by 3 is 1. I just took one third of each of the things to make my new coordinates. Now let's plot them. Negative 2, 3 should be right there. 1, 2 is there. Negative 1, 1 is there. There is my dilation with a scale factor of one third. Again, we have a fraction that's between 0 and 1. So going from my pre-image to my image, it should be a reduction. Example 3. Describe dilations. Use coordinate notation to describe the dilation. So for this, we just need to figure out the scale factor from our pre-image to our image. So let's put the points for our pre-image. A is at negative 2, 4 up here. B is at 4, negative 2. And C is at negative 4, negative 4. What about our image? So A prime is now at negative 1, 2. B prime is out at 2, negative 1. C prime is now at negative 2, negative 2. So what happened going from one thing to the next? And as we're going forward and trying to figure out what is happening between our four transformations, if we look at the picture, we can see that it did not say the same size. So one that tells you that it's a dilation, not a translation, not a reflection, not a rotation. So that's our first clue. If it changes sizes, a dilation must be involved. So how did we go from negative 2 to negative 1? I divided by 2. How did I go from 4 to 2? I divided by 2. Unfortunately, scale factor is not division, so we have to write that as a fraction. Dividing by 2 is the same as multiplying by 1 half. Each of our coordinates was half of what it was. That's our scale factor. So writing our coordinate notation, we would take our original and multiply each thing by 1 half. And that would be your coordinate notation. Check your understanding. Write the coordinate notation for this dilation. Pause the video now and complete the check. Check your answer. So this dilation was multiplying by a scale factor of 3. Here is my pre-image that does not have the prime symbols. It got larger going out to the one with the prime symbols. Let's look and see what happened to the coordinates. So A was at 1, 2. Now it is at 3, 6. So what did I multiply by to go from 1 to 3 or 2 to 6? It must have been multiplied by 3. I could check B. It was at 2, negative 2. Now it's at 6, negative 6. Still multiplied by 3. C was at negative 3, 1. Now it is at negative 9, 3. So everything was just multiplied by 3, which must be our scale factor. So this would be your coordinate notation. Our coordinates changed by multiplying by 3. 